What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixie and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today we are on the quest, the mission to get some boots. I want some boots man. So uh, yeah, last episode basically what we did is I kind of showed you the new amulet which is the new Supreme Ant Amulet. I was kind of sitting here and I was like, you know what? I could go and grind for it again, and I could start off this episode, and I could have a nice shiny amulet. I mean, we had one, but then we were kind of like, nah, it wasn't as good as I would have hoped for. So I want to try and get a better one, but I really, 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 really want some jump boost. Uh, oh, we've got a black bear to hand in. There we go. Give me another quest, black bear. What's, what have you got? What have you got? Delve into dandelions. Two million from the dandelion field. Okay, okay, that's not too bad. Um... So yeah, what I want to do to begin this episode here is I actually really want to try and get some of these new quests done from a very, very snazzy sun bear. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get like the super mondo boots, but I think we should hopefully get a pair of boots. So at least a little bit of jump boost will definitely help in making the amulet get like a little bit easier so we can get it every single time. Um, okay, here we go. Nothing more satisfying than collecting tokens, am I right? Don't think I'd want to eat a treat found just lying around outside in that, though. Hmm, bees don't seem too picky. But I'll give you some clean treats to feed them just because I'm nice. Complete two more quests and I'll also give you a pair of boots. Boom. Okay, here we go, here we go. My boots are all I need to be a certified speed demon. But for a shoeless person like yourself, haste tokens are the way to go. Get yourself a hasty bee and I'll type what? And I'll hype it up for you to get it moving faster. My sunglasses block out the glare and keep my vision sharp. But your only hope is to collect those focus tokens. A look of bee will keep you focused and unlock the potential of critical hits. Okay. Use those tokens to take yourself to the next level. Collect 25 haste tokens and focus tokens each. Oh, and 25,000 blue pollen just to mix things up. Okay. Not too bad, lads. Not too bad. Um, so these are two quests. These are going to be pretty straightforward and we're just going to get like the basic boots. I was also looking at these items. So yeah, these are actually really cool. So the stinger which is used to unlock the Vicious Bee eventually. We're going to have to save up quite a lot of them. And the Moon Charms are also usable items. I thought that was really cool. So we're going to try and save up the Moon Charms. We're not going to spend them. But if we did have excess of them, eventually, I guess, we could start using them to level up our bees. So it's a 250 bond. I don't know if there's certain bees that prefer these. Um, maybe the event bees. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried it. Uh, and then the stingers, which is kind of interesting. It grants all your bees a plus 50% attack for 30 seconds. So technically, if you had a big stack of stingers and you were in like the ant challenge, you could use 10 of those over the five minutes and you would permanently have a plus 50% attack. So yeah, maybe eventually when people start getting these cool boots and stuff, then um, they will be able to like get some really crazy ant challenge things. I want to save mine up because I want 250 for that vicious bee. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few, uh, we've got a few things to grind out before we can think about that. And of course, we want to start doing here with this, uh, quick feet sharp mind quest. So I think this is pretty straightforward. Um, let's just go to, oh yeah, so this is a new habit that I'm trying to get into here. Always trying to hit this clock, even if you're like only going to be on here for like 10 minutes. So this wealth clock is cool. Um, but yeah, I haven't like been on it enough to have like the full two and a half hours just yet. Um, but like... It's kind of nifty, and it does give you that, like, 2% bonus, and then if you hit it again, it gives you a 4% bonus, so you might as well just try and hit it every single time. Every little helps. But yeah, I'm just trying to get into the habit of actually clicking it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. Ooh, got a ticket, nice. Okay, so let's try and get this quest done. It shouldn't take too long. Okie dokie, so that's that quest done. Um, yeah, so what I want to do... So I, I completely forgot to even talk about this last episode, but I'm absolutely loving the sprinklers. Now, we actually went like straight into the store and we bought the best ones that we could possibly buy uh, before we get like 10 Grand Master badges, which is obviously going to take a bit of time. Um, so yeah, we've got... Ooh, moons, moons, moons. Okay, yeah, but what I want to do is I want to run like a little test. So these sprinklers are amazing for low-level fields. And if you combine those with... Where's he going? Is he going to Rose? Okay. They always seem to go to Rose. I'm not sure why. Really strange. Um, but yeah, so... Oh! Ow! Hey! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> my parachute stopped working. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, so... What I want to do is I want to like... On like a private... So what the heck? On it! What have you done? Oh! Okay, there we go. 
<laughs> okay, so if we just run through them, as you can see here, they like pop off, and then we should probably hit the ground as well in case we get a ticket. But there's our moon amulet. It always spawns like right in the middle of them, um, which is pretty nifty. But yeah, what I want to do is I want to try and basically get two identical field boosters in a low level field, and then I want to uh, use one time with sprinklers and one time without sprinklers. I know it's not a perfect test because each time you might get slightly more or slightly less, but I want to kind of see how much the sprinklers benefit because obviously the the, the sprinklers. They make it so that the uh, the flowers replenish quicker. Um, so, for example, if I could get, like, two dandelion field boosters or something and then try it. But I'd need to do that on a private server just so, like, no one else farms in the same field for those 15 minutes. But I think I'm going to do that because I really like the sprinklers. And, you know, we really should just be using them, like, more. As soon as you jump in a field, just whack down a sprinkler. Uh, they're really good. Oh, they moved? Where did they go? Hey. Hey. Where did they go? Uh, oh, there they are, spider. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, let's run through them. Whoop, boop, boop, boop. There we go. And moon amulet, thank you very much. I wonder if, like, only one person gets the moon amulet each time. I'm not too sure. Hopefully not, because then I'm just taking, like, other people's, but if we run through them again, get some sparkly grass. Did I get another amulet? They're not called amulets, they're charms. I keep calling them amulets. The charms, James, the charms, the moon charms. Oh, there's two here, okay. Boop, boop. Hey, there's another one. Nice. So slowly but surely, we're building our way up to 100. I'm curious to see what it actually does. It's kind of up there on that platform. But we do need 100 in order to actually be able to activate that. There's another one. Nice. Anyway, let's hand this in. Okay. Looks like I'm not the only speed demon in town. Imagine how fast you'll be moving with haste and boots. You're really getting close. Just one more quest and you'll finally cover up those feet of yours. All right. Talk to me, dude. Talk to me. I just came back from the desert. This arid landscape is awesome in its own way, but it really makes you appreciate a place like this. Fruits and flowers as far as the eye can see. You and your bees live in the land of plenty. Take some time to appreciate it. Go out there and take it all in. Collect two blueberry, oh, 10 blueberries, 10 strawberries, and 10 treat tokens, and 250 ability tokens to keep things exciting while I watch. Ah, so I think this is a really cool use of the saplings. Or the sprouts, I guess. So there is like a way that you can summon them over there. I think you can summon one into the map every eight hours. Um, they'll naturally spawn, of course. And they're, they're not like uncommon or anything. But I think for quests like this, where we need to actually get um, like strawberries and blueberries and stuff. Why don't we just... Uh, should we go and summon a sprout in? Might be a good way of doing it. Okay, so... Oh, what is this? Hey! Ow! Uh... <laughs> I think the parachute might be a little bit broken. Or the cannon, maybe? Oh, jeez. Let me try that again. Yeah, it goes... Why do I go... Ow! What the heck? On it! What have you done? Help! <laughs> Aha! Okay, boom. So one of them has spawned. Um, where is it? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Is it in the pineapple field? Oh, no, it's over there. Okay, boom. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some of these guys. Okay, it's only a little baby one, so... It won't take too long, but um, yeah, maybe this is just a good way of doing this. Um, I imagine that as the like the quests progress, they're going to get harder and harder and harder. So maybe sprouts are a really good way of actually doing the later quests. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. We're in no particular rush, but as I kind of mentioned, I really, really miss my jump boost. So uh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's collect some stuff. Okay, we've got pineapples and stuff. We don't actually need pineapples. There we go. Strawberries. Blueberries, royal jelly, tickets, treats, sunflower seeds. Oh, royal jellies. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is good. This is good, this is good, this is good. Let me get that pineapple. Uh, anything else? Yes, go over here. I love the sprouts, man. They're so exciting. <laughs> All right. So it's basically whoever gets there first gets them. So speed boost is going to be really useful when doing these sprouts. Uh, there we go. We got five strawberries, a couple of blueberries, and we got our ability tokens. And we got all of our treats. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to go and grab these the old-fashioned way, I think. So let's just go to the pine tree forest. Let's grab some blueberries. Another little thing that I've noticed. Um, so I'm just in um, the blue flower field, um, just because it's a little bit slower. So it gives me a little bit more time to get some blueberries before my backpack fills up. Uh, I'm not even using the dripper. I'm just like running around and just grabbing the tokens and stuff. But it seems like... Someone just summoned a honey storm then, and quite a few tickets popped up. Maybe like three or four tickets. I might just be my imagination, but I feel like maybe a honey storm has a chance to drop a few tickets now. I could be wrong, but yeah, I just sort of noticed that. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll have to test it, but 
Kind of cool. Actually, you know what? Let's test it right now. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so let's... Oh, you see what I mean? I've lost my jump boost. I can't jump up on anything. Oh, man. Why? Why? Okay, let me try it again. So if I summon a honey storm... Let's see if we can see any tickets. So... Are there going to be tickets? Yeah, there's one. Look. Boom. And there's another one. So there we go. Honey storms now drop tickets. Oh, that's really nifty. I like that a lot. So I, what did I get? Three? Huh. So not only are you getting tickets when you use a honey storm, but also the other people on the server are, which is really, really nice. I like that. And there we go. Hey, we did it. Okay. So yeah, we only got one of the... Um, the, uh, the sapling things to spawn. Um, sprouts even. I keep calling them saplings. Why? It's just my Minecraft days. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay. Let's just fill up the backpack here. Let's just finish it off. Uh, I've got one sprinkler in here. So, I mean, the cool thing about sprinklers is if you're kind of doing quests and stuff, you can just leave like one sprinkler in each one of the fields, depending on how many you've got. So I could put like one in the sunflower, one in the dandelion, one in the mushroom, and then one in whatever, uh, which I really like. I think that's super nifty. Oh, yeah, and I also, I think I got four moon charms? Oh, no, I only get two. I can't remember how many we had, but yeah. Nighttime cycles. Takes a little while to kind of get them, but you will get them eventually, so that's kind of cool. I think I might do a few raw jellies, just because I'm really annoys me that this bee isn't gifted. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we might do that in just a second, but we can go and get ourselves some boots. I'm very excited for the boots. Come on, give me some boots. Give me them boots. Okay. Uh, oh, good stuff, good stuff. Now these are yours, a pair of basic boots. To match this basic effort you've put into entertaining me so far. Ouch! Sun Bear! Turn down the sassiness. You've been hanging around with Black Bear too much. He is the sassiest. Okay, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, nah, you're doing great, but I'm just getting started. I'm only here for a short time, and I want to see it all. Complete five more quests, and we'll swap those boots with something a little bit more durable. For now, go break those basic boots in. You can now get around faster. Oh, and try walking through the flowers. You'll collect some pollen from just moving around. Hey, we got basic boots. <laughs> okay, what's the next quest? Something's going on here. I swear I saw a huge plant sprout right in the middle of the sunflower field. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't a sunflower. After a while, it grew so large that it exploded or something and scattered tokens everywhere. You've seen them too, right? I swear I'm not crazy. Before I go any further, I need you to help solve this mystery. Go out there and collect 10 to 20 tokens from magic sprouts. Whatever those things are. Oh, and collect 100 boost tokens. It could take a while for a sprout to show up, so I'll need something to keep me entertained. All right. No problem, Mr. Sassy, Sassy, Sassy Sun Bear. Look at our little boots. <laughs> oh, here we are. There they are. So, oh, seedling. Perfect. Uh, so these just give us plus five movement speed, plus two collection. So now, if you run through the field. Oh, yeah, look at that. We collect. That's so cool. Huh. So we don't get any extra jump boost. That's what I want. I want the jump boost. But maybe that's like only for the best boots. But yeah, at least we got our first pair, which is really awesome. Let's crack this bad boy open. And let's get ourselves all of the treats. Yes, 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 yes. So good, man. There's only like a small sapling, but pretty cool. I really like the gold ones. Those give you so much cool stuff. But I guess we'll just we'll just take whatever we can get, really. All right, you know what? Uh, I think we're just going to do this next quest as well. I just need 100 boost tokens. So I'm in the top field, to be honest with you, though. Like... I feel like, especially with the new Grandmaster badges, I feel like it's better just to not spend so much time in the top field and just do, like, random other fields. Um, so, obviously, field boosters. I, I cannot tell you how good field boosters are. I keep going on about it. I know it's probably getting boring now, but they're so good. They're so, so, so good. Um, so, I think it's probably better to spend time just in random fields. Just very quickly, though, uh, it's, I keep mentioning this, and I'm going to keep mentioning this because I feel like it's only fair, but I mention it in lots of episodes. Um... But yeah, I always get asked exactly the same questions every single time I play. And uh, I know not everyone watches every single episode, so I thought, you know what, we'll just answer them again. But um, yeah, number number one and number two most asked questions. Number one is, are you Wreck? Uh, which is one that I get all the time. Basically, if you do see me in the game, or if you see any YouTuber in the game, uh, if we're not, like, responding to you, it's because we're recording. It's, like, super difficult to chat with people and... Um, like record and talk and stuff at the same time um but yeah if you if you do want to say hello then please do go ahead i love to like say hello and, and if you want screenshots and stuff then i'm more than happy to do those it's really really cool to see you guys in game but yeah if you don't get a response from are you wreck <laughs> it's because it's because we're recording basically so yeah don't worry about it it's all good man and then number two is can you are uh, you like friend me and stuff the only problem is, is currently 
right now I have 110,000 friend requests, and Roblox only allows up to 200 people, so there's not really much I can do about it. I'm really sorry. I did mention it to the community manager of Roblox, and I'm like, look, this is kind of a problem because people always want friend requests, but, you know, you just can't do it. And apparently they're working on some things. It may take some time. I don't know what they're thinking. They might be doing some kind of cool new system or whatever. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry about that. It kind of sucks. And like, if I was friends with one person, I want to be friends with everyone. And I can't really do it. And I'm really sorry. No one can. It's it's a shame. Uh, but yeah, those are the two most questions I get asked all the time. Um, and yeah, those are the answers. So just in case you're wondering. Any hoozles, just collect some boost tokens. Just collect some boost tokens. Why many we got? We got 19 more. There we go. Boom. So yeah, very, very good once again. Just stick some sprinklers in the field. It just helps the flowers regenerate much quicker and you can get... It's just so good. I love the sprinklers. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, let's hand this in to finish off today. Oh, so I'm not going crazy. That's a relief. So these things pop up in the middle of a field and they grow for you and your bees collect pollen from that field? Okay. Once they're done growing, they pop scattering tokens all over the place. Now that is awesome. Anyway, how you liking those boots? They're nice, but I got something even nicer. Complete four more quests and we'll give you an upgrade. All right, dude, talk to me. Once you've tried shoes, there's no going back. As you hatch more bees, they'll produce more and more ability tokens. The speed boost you get from the boots helps you uh, keep up in collecting them all. But sometimes that's not even enough. That's where the token link comes in. Collect a token link uh, and it'll collect all your ability tokens as well. It, it looks pretty cool, though. It shoots out a bunch of white beams, sort of like a spider web. Speaking of spiders, let me see some of your bees defeat some. It's all about that. It's about that time I've seen a... It's, uh, uh, blah, 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 sun bear. it's about time I've seen a good bug on bug beat down. It's about time I've seen a good... Is it, is it supposed to be? It's about time to see a good bug on bug beat down? Collect 100 token links from spiders and defeat three spiders. Wait. Make it four spiders. Oh, sun bear. <laughs> oh, and collect 100,000 pollen from the spider field while you're out there. Wait, so am I going to get jump boost from these boots? I have no idea. He didn't mention jump boost. Huh. Okay, well, four spiders, 100 link tokens, uh, and uh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so we'll be back very soon for some more Beast Wars Simulator. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancy up!